Hi, everyone. Welcome to our ML Summit Prepare. This is the first event in our series this year, and I'm very excited to kick this off and present to all of you. I am Kyle Paul. I am the regional lead for North America Developer Ecosystems. And to kick off today, uh, we're just going to kind of dive in a little bit to what uh, we hope to get out of the event today, as well as a little housekeep, a little bit of housekeeping items. So uh, some of our goals today, uh, it's designed for all of you who are already involved in machine learning and artificial intelligence, where you're building and creating some amazing things. This uh, event here today is designed not necessarily as a 101 event or an intro level. Basically what we hope all of you today to get out of this is to upskill and uplevel your knowledge set. Our other goals today are to help you learn more about the technology, machine learning and AI. We also hope that you get to learn what Google is doing with ML and AI in this space. We have many Googlers here speaking today and in this series. And then we also hope for you to take away what ML and AI applications can help with around the world in whatever vertical you happen to be a part of. Our speakers come from a very diverse knowledge set and diverse set of backgrounds. So there's lots of great insightful information that they have for all of you here today. And we hope that you know, all of you find this useful and have a lot of great things to take away. We also kindly ask that everyone follows our code of conduct. You can find the full uh, code of conduct available on our website, which is posted here in this link. Uh, but it comes down to some basic fundamentals. We're all here to learn. We're all here to network, and we should all have a mutual respect for one another. We want everybody to have a great time and learn from one another and, and, and network with each other. We don't anticipate there will be any issues, but if you happen to have any concerns or issues that come up, please reach out to myself or any of our Googlers that we have in our communication channels, like our Slack, uh, we are more than happy to help resolve anything quickly. And then uh, we also want to hear how excited you are about the event, as well as what awesome things that you're learning from this event. So feel free to post on social media using the hashtag ML Summit, as well as go ahead and tag the Google developers uh, on Twitter. We're very excited to see what all very excited to see what all of you have to say today. The other awesome thing, so as I mentioned, I am part of developer ecosystems. And what that means is I also have the opportunity to uh, hear your feedback about our different products. So on the developer ecosystem team, we have direct access to all the different product teams at Google. And what that means is when we you know, have events like this, we are always collecting this feedback, what works, what doesn't work. And feel free to go ahead and be a little candid. like this doesn't really work or this kind of sucks, you know, and what, but what can we do to help improve that? So if you have specific use cases or different examples of what features aren't really working, go ahead and send us that feedback. We'd love to hear it and see how we can help improve our products to be better for you in the community. There's always those little feedback buttons in the bottom corner to where you can go ahead and submit that feedback as well. When you submit that feedback, I can guarantee it does come across back to us here at Google. While we may not always respond or give you a direct response to this, I can guarantee to you that we always see this. And the awesome thing is, like when you help provide some of that feedback to us, very few teams in Google have influence on different product decisions like the developer ecosystem team does. So any if you have feedback on any Google product, feel free to go ahead and send that over to us. The other fun thing with Google Developer Ecosystems is we have different programs across the globe to help support communities that you are, are a part of. Uh, many of these that uh, I help support here in North America, we have our Google Developer Groups, our Google Developer Experts Program, our Women Tech Makers Program, and our Developer Student Club programs. The other thing that we recently launched here in North America is our accelerators program for entrepreneurs. Out of this audience here today, we have a lot of different unique 
different experiences, leaders, part of different communities. So I am I'm pretty sure if you're not part of one of these communities already, there's one nearby to you. And if you don't have one nearby, feel free to chat with us and see how we can help get one started. But of these programs, one that I'm very excited to talk to you about today, because we're looking for experts like you. So the GDE program, as we call it, uh, has is a community of outstanding experts in their field. They have expertise in various Google products or specific Google products. And they have they share this passion where they like to communicate the their expertise back out to the community. And that's either in blog form, they like to give talks, they hold podcasts, different things like that. They write tutorials, there's all kinds of things. And you can find these experts globally. How can you be eligible? So we have a few different criteria here, but um, we also have a Google Developers channel in our Slack that we've sent out to all of you that uh, you can join that channel and ask more questions about the program. But basically here, what we have is, we ask that you be a subject matter expert in the area, of course. Uh, then we also uh, ask that you, dis can, if you can display a continued activity uh, in that space, so whether you are blogging a lot about the technology or you give a lot of talks at events like this one here today. Uh, different, you write a lot of tutorials, write some open source software. If you have experience doing all this, that's great. Please let us know about this because uh, we try to keep up with all the developers and it's uh, we want to uh, help help recognize your work out in the community. Some of the awesome benefits that come from this are acknowledgement by Google to where uh, we have a special little badge that you can put on your profile picture. We also have a directory of all of these experts and what technologies that you've been recognized as an expert in. And you can find that directory on our experts website. We also provide invitations to exclusive projects. So uh, as being a Google developer expert, we have an NDA that you sign to allow you access to uh, participate in different uh, early access programs or uh, beta test certain products before they uh, go into a public beta, for example. Uh, you, have, you also have access to Google Teams. So this means um, teams that are in that space. So if you happen to be a TensorFlow GDE, you have access to the TensorFlow team to ask them better questions or get more insightful thoughts on how the technology works. We also provide invitation to different events like Google I.O. and Cloud Next uh, to kind of help recognize you and invite you to learn more about these pro uh, our, our technology through these events. And of course, you also have access to a global network of professionals. So when you join the Google Developer Expert Program, you gain access to that full directory of all these other experts where you can network with each other, share ideas, work together on projects. There's a lot of great opportunities that happen from this. Some resources to learn more about the program. So if you want to do some more digging while we have our talks going on today, we have our website, which will uh, cover how to join the program a little bit more deeper in uh, what I was explaining about the program here. We also have our Twitter feed, which highlights some awesome things that our GDEs have been doing in the community, as well as the Medium, which we invite different experts from around the world to post on. So it's helping to highlight and empower them and grow their networks using our network, uh, using our channel. We also have our LinkedIn where you can uh, see all the awesome experts from around the world. If you are interested in joining the program and you have a lot of these criteria, you meet a lot of the criteria that I've mentioned today, uh, you can go ahead and try and apply uh, and feel free to list me as a referrer on that on that application. But please take your time when you fill this out. Don't fill it out uh, too quickly because uh, any incomplete application doesn't really make it that, that far. If you do have more questions about the GDE program, feel free to come find me on Slack, as well as we have a dedicated channel 
to ask more questions about the GDE program. So I'll see you in there. Some final housekeeping items. Uh, you know, all of you found our event today. Very excited to have you. If you want to revisit the schedule at any time, you can find it at this link uh, for Google slash ML Summit. We also have our, our feedback survey, which is Google slash ML Summit feedback. And through this link, uh, you don't have to go ahead and fill it out now, fill it out at the end of the event. And we will share this link throughout the event. But um, what we ask here is feedback on our speakers and feedback on the event. And, by, and through this feedback, that's how we all grow and continue to make an amazing event like this, as well as our speakers, you know, to grow as they continue to speak at other events. So please, we definitely value your feedback. And with that, thank you all for tuning in today. We're so excited to have you all and enjoy the rest of the summit today. And to kick it off here today, our first speaker is Daniel on the Waze team here at Google. He's a lead data scientist and data wizard uh, for the Waze team. And he'll be talking about full cycle data science with GCP. So I'm very excited for this talk. And off to Daniel. Cheers. <laughs>